It's normally tea for two, but today the royals made it tea for three. The Queen, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duchess of Cambridge popped into Fortnum and Masons, which is, after all, the royal grocer. While there, Kate said that, like all girls, she likes a bit of chocolate. Our royal correspondent, Louisa Baldini's report, contains some flash photography. <laughs> This was the first time that the three senior royals, representing three generations, were carrying out an official engagement together and without their three husbands, a queen with two potential future queens. Her Majesty used to visit the store as a child when she lived literally down the road, but she wouldn't have received a reception like this back then. In the food hall, she and the duchesses were shown commemorative tins of especially mixed diamond jubilee tea and biscuits which will be sent to soldiers deployed abroad over the jubilee weekend. Both the duchesses were asking us about the morale of the troops out on the ground and, and how these tins would um, influence morale, uh, which we said it would be, it'd be excellent for morale. At the naughty counter, as she called it, the Duchess of Cambridge revealed one of her weaknesses. I love chocolate, yes. I think, no, I think, I think most girls like chocolate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are these ones here? It may only have been tea at Fortnum's, but the fact that Catherine has joined the Queen and Camilla today without William is an indication that she's been fully accepted into the bosom of the royal family and that the Queen is supporting her. Catherine will be at the Queen's side again next week as she joins the monarch on the first stop of her Diamond Jubilee tour. Louisa Baldini, BBC News, Fortnum and Mason.